Hey guys, it's Ann. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look in on our 2022 no grit bin. So what we've got going on here is about a pound or a pound and a half of my red wigglers and European night crawlers and blue worms. And it looks like I literally just picked up a bit of a worm ball that I didn't know was going to be there. Okay, so these worms, the experiment going on here is that I am not going to provide them with any crushed egg shell. And the bedding that they have here does not have any of the eggshell in it. It's just shredded paper um, and with liquid kelp and uh, that's about it. And it's been sitting, it's been about three we weeks since we've looked in on these guys. And look, we have made castings. So they are definitely not prevented from uh, eating by not having the grit. Um, the last time we did this experiment, I used leaves. And uh, some people thought, well, there could be dirt in with the leaves. So we're redoing it for 2022, and we're going to try and exclude whatever that might have had grit in it. So they are just going to get fed kitchen scraps, and the bedding is going to be just the paper bedding minus the, um, the crushed eggshells. I'm smelling a little bit of oranges here. So I saw, I don't know, a leaf of something and a little bit of orange here. I'm just going to collect up the food. And as we're inspecting things, we're going to go and pile it back up over here. Moisture seems to be kind of hit and miss. It was kind of dry in that one pocket. Uh, might not have had the lid on it very good. Uh, my basement is currently 67 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's, it's cool, but it's not cold. Um, so the red wigglers and the European night crawlers will be just fine. The blue worms might have slowed down a bit um, with it being this cold but they will totally make up for it once the weather gets nice and warm. So, oh, I was also gonna say that I did have coconut coir in here. I forgot about that. So, if you've watched my bedding videos, um, you know that I put about, I don't know, 10, 20% of coconut coir in here just so that the, the paper and the cardboard doesn't like turn to glue and make really uh, sticky castings. So I'm still moving things around here, looking for the food. We found a little orange. We found a little, I don't know, some sort of leaf. And so, oop, wait a minute, here we go. Pineapple. Now I remember. They are all in that, look at that. They're just eating everything down to the fiber. Kind of almost looks like dog hair cat hair. Hair, anyway. But they are all the way through that. Good worms. Doesn't seem to be slowing them down that they don't have any grit. They are all over the place. One of the ideas for the no grit bin was that maybe it also might hurt their reproduction. Um, but I am I'm seeing little worms. So, but you know, it still might have been too early. You know, they might have... Uh, I don't know, had cocoons or whatever when we started this experiment, so we won't really give them credit yet. But if they continue to have really good success with their breeding, then, you know, that will be an indication that they don't just need eggshell or, you know, for the calcium to make their cocoons. So that looks like their biggest piece of food here, and uh, it doesn't look like they're anywhere near through it. So I kind of hesitate to put anything in here that is going to be, you know, what I would consider fast food. Someone asked me a question, what is the difference between fast food and slow food? Um, and this, you know, as far as I can tell, pineapples are slow food because of all the fibers and whatnot. It takes them months and months to go through it. Something that I would consider to be, you know, fast food would be like pureed vegetables, some kind of watermelon or pumpkin, the flesh part. Uh, but anything that's got a lot of fibers in it, um, like this, is going to take months and months and months. So I'm going to put that back over there. They seem to be 
happy with it. I'm going to cover them up. But there does seem to be quite a bit of real estate here, and we do have worms throughout. So I'm not sure what the rest of the worms are doing that are not in the worm ball with the pineapple. So let's kind of tussle this over. Let me go see if I've got some more food. Give them something over here that once the pineapple goes, if we're not looking in on them, that they'll have some backup food. Here we go. We got a couple of potatoes. These have been frozen, so I'm, I'm thinking that they should be pretty available in probably very short order. I'm not sure if those are going to be fast food or slow food, but these potatoes have been sitting around for quite a while. No, they don't smell good. So this is our no grit bin for 2022. I've got a video playlist for this. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.